Well, welcome to Power Coat Music. In this video, we're going to talk about the Behringer FBQ3102 HD 31 band stereographic equalizer and why and how I use it. A good EQ has been a staple for professional audio engineers and especially mastering engineers for decades. They know it makes a huge impact on the way you sound along with the overall shape of your sound. Now multi-band graphic equalizers have been around for a long time and they haven't changed that much. So when I read the technical specifications on this one and I saw the price tag, I knew I had to check this one out. <laughs> I use the FBQ3102 HD as the final EQ in my external mastering chain. Okay, it includes a spectrum analyzer and helps my eyes to see and fine tune frequencies that my ears don't catch. Now you might ask yourself, um, what's a spectrum audio analyzer? Well, a spectrum analyzer provides a visual of your sound and deconstructs that audio spectrum showing you the levels of various frequencies in your audio signal. Okay. This provides high quality measurement results when analyzing ambient noise levels in a variety of real life situations. That's why when it comes to mastering, being able to do this is very important. This is why good mastering engineers use audio spectrum analyzers. The FBQ3102 has all of the professional features I need. Okay, now this includes a 31 band stereographic equalizer for studio applications. Any less than 31 bands per channel ain't gonna cut it, period. Okay, it has an FBQ feedback detection system that helps quickly locate problem frequencies. It also has the 4580 dual op amps that produce low noise and better sound quality in studio audio equipment. It has a dedicated mono subwoofer output with an adjustable crossover frequency. It has its own crossover. <laughs> it also has a sweepable high pass and low pass filters on each channel to manage unwanted frequencies such as hiss and floor rumble. Okay, um, it comes with a 12 segment LED meter and input gain controls that make setting the levels simple and easy. <laughs> it has relay controlled uh, hard bypass and auto bypass features. Um, that function during power failure. That is important. It has servo balanced inputs and outputs, okay, with quarter inch TRS and gold plated XLR connectors. Before we take a look at the technical specifications of the FBQ3102 HD, let's look at how equalization works in these types of devices. Imagine the audio frequency range as a wide highway with many, many lanes. Okay. Now each of these lanes represents a specific audio frequency band or group. For instance, let's look at the left lane. The left lane contains the really low frequency content, such as uh, bass, bass vocals, kick drums, and toms. Okay. Your middle lane would make up your basic region of most of the instruments that you're going to hear, such as male and female vocals, like my voice is a good example. And the right lane, when you look at a, a band on a device like this, would make up all of the high frequencies, such as snare drums and cymbals and higher pitch percussion instruments. You know, this content contains and adds the sizzle to your final mix. So when you look at the 31 band on a graphic equalizer, these types of lanes are going to be your basic setup for a device such as this. Let's take a look at the technical specifications for the unit. The FBQ3102 HD has two 31 band sections. The boost cut range is plus 12 decibels and plus 6 decibels. It does have feedback detection, which is the FBQ functionality. The low cut filter is a variable 10 hertz to 400 hertz. 
The high cut filter is a variable 2.5 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz. In regards to analog inputs, there's two XLR and two quarter inch TRS inputs. Uh, analog outputs include two XLR and two quarter inch TRS and one XLR for the subwoofer out. It's two rack spaces high and it is 5.9 inches deep. Let's move on to the controls on the unit and how they work. The input output level meter lets you keep an eye on the signal level in order to avoid distortion. Depending upon the position of the IO meter in out switch, the display shows either the input or the output signal. When clipping starts to occur, the red clip LED lights up. The IO meter in out switch lets you alternate between displaying the input and the output signal level. When the switch is depressed, the output signal level is shown. The audio in out switch is used to enable or disable the entire equalizer section. As long as the switch is not depressed or while the equalizer is not powered up, the inputs and the outputs are directly connected to one another. The audio in and out switch is used to compare the original unprocessed signal with the processed signal. The input control is used to adjust the input signal level. You can boost the signal level from plus 15 to minus 15 decibels. The low cut control is used to adjust the lower cutoff frequency. The high pass filter covers the range between 10 and 400 hertz. Here, the filter lets the signal pass through unprocessed when the control is in the 10 hertz position. The high cut control is used to adjust the upper cutoff frequency. The low pass filter covers the range between 2.5 and 30 kilohertz. Here, this is where the filter lets the signal pass through unprocessed when the control is in the 30 kilohertz position. When you press the FBQ switch, the FBQ feedback detection system is activated. The frequencies that evoke feedback are indicated by a lit fader LED. All other LEDs are toned down. Now, simply lower the respective frequency range somewhat until you eliminate the feedback and the LED no longer lights up. The range switch lets you alternate between the maximum value of lowering and increasing of individual frequencies from 12 decibels to 6 decibels when the switch is depressed. The 31 sliding controls are for the individual frequency bands. When in the zero position, that means right in the middle, the particular frequency range is not processed at all. Now to boost a frequency range, pull the sliding control up. To reduce the frequency range, pull the sliding control down. The FBQ feature means feedback free audio for me. <laughs> the FBQ feedback detection system allows me to remove feedback from my sound so that I can focus on my recordings. Now using a fast feedback detection system with this circuitry, it helps me to find and remove unwanted feedback frequencies quick. I mean immediately. Okay, when feedback is sensed in a specific frequency range, the LED on the associated EQ fader lights up, showing me which fader to lower to remove the unwanted feedback. Okay, this is the spectrum analyzer functionality, and yes, it is that simple. Let's take a moment to talk about managing low and high frequencies. Low frequency sound ranges require special attention. Okay? That's why the unit features a variable high and low cut filters on each channel with sweepable frequency that helps to remove unwanted content such as floor rumble, 
room resonance, electrical hum, and much more. Frequency content such as this unnecessarily uses up a power amplifier's headroom. Okay? This added control gives the unit the power to accurately fine tune my system's overall sound. And as you can see, this is critical for mastering. That's why I use it in my mastering chain. This helps to create a clear and more dynamic output with tight and punchy bottom in when I need it for my mastering chain. The FBQ 3102 HD has a built in crossover. The unit also has a dedicated subwoofer output with an adjustable 30 to 200 hertz cutoff frequency. It also has balanced XLR outs so I can connect to power amps or directly to my active subwoofer without any additional hardware. Now this is a nice feature that saves me money so I don't have to buy additional hardware or use any other devices. To sum it all up, Behringer is a company that some people love to hate. However, the organization has done a lot over the last decade to improve its products and reputation. The FBQ 3102 HD has a quality build and performs its job well as part of my external mastering chain. This makes it a very good product for its price point and beyond. Hey, look. I believe Behringer got this one right. Well, that wraps it all up. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen right now to join our group. We have new videos coming out every seven to 10 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think about this video. Also, while you're here at the channel, take a look at some of the other videos, listen to the music, and let us know what you think about that too. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.